Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today I'm going to show you how I tighten the belts on my 3D printers. I've had a couple people in the community reach out along with some friends asking uh, how do you actually tighten the belt, um, what is the right tension, and what happens if it's too loose or too tight. So I'm going to try to address some of those questions in this video and then go over what I do to actually tighten them. Uh, that said, this is just what I do. I'm sure there are other people who do things differently. So I just wanted to make sure you guys understand that um, there is more than one way to do this. And just because I do it one way doesn't mean that it's the only way or necessarily the best way. It's just the way that I prefer to do it. Before we go ahead and get started, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll really help get this video circulating and um, grow the channel. Uh, so I appreciate that. All right, so first let's talk about why you don't want the belt too loose. If the belt is too loose, you're gonna start seeing a lines or potentially layer shifting. If the belt's too loose where it's actually jumping teeth, you're gonna see some major layer shifting. Uh, things like that are easy to identify, but just smaller layer lines um, also come out if the belt is too loose. And it might be a little bit more difficult to say, yeah, that's the belt. Um, with these printers in general, uh, they are actually decent quality. You can get decent prints off of them without having to get really expensive printers. So if you're starting to see a lot of layer lines or anything like that, um, most likely there's something wrong and there's a very good chance it could just be the belt. And then going to the opposite of that, if you have the belt too tight, uh, you can potentially put extra stress on the stepper motors and your drivers uh, where they might have to work harder uh, if you have it extremely tight. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you're kind of balancing out between the two. Uh, I'll show you a couple examples on how to tighten it with uh, my Ender 3 Pro here uh, with the actual stock setup. And then I also have a video where I covered uh, installing belt tensioners, uh, which I have on this printer. I'll mention that here briefly as well. Uh, just zoom in on both printers and kind of give you some examples. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start with the stock Ender 3 setup. Um, basically, you've got two screws here that kind of hold the tension in place for your x-axis. And then the y-axis you have four, which I'll show you that here in a second once we get done with the x. In order to tighten the belt, you want to unscrew these two a little bit. You don't want to over loosen them because you don't want the actual uh, T-nut to fall inside here. Uh, but just go ahead and loosen those up a little bit so it can move around. And then you have a couple options when it comes to tightening it. Uh, you can just use an Allen wrench like this and uh, kind of just uh, feed it in here and use that to apply tension and then tighten down one of these. Uh, that's what I've been falling back to quite a bit recently. Um, if you have a pair of needle nose pliers, you can also do the same thing, kind of feed it in here and then force them apart. Uh, but this has been working just fine. So with that in, you want to just tighten these a little bit so that uh, it kind of holds that pressure. Um, so if, Basically, you're still keeping the pressure on here and then you're tightening these down so that when you let go of the other Allen wrench, it's not going to come loose. All right, and then with that, uh, we can check our actual tension. So this is where it gets kind of tricky because everything is subjective at this point. So this is why I say this is what I do, not necessarily the best way, um, but it is the way that works for me. Um, I uh, go ahead and go underneath the bar here, you'll see a little bit of uh, the belt here that you can grab with your fingernail. And then you just kind of pull a little bit and you should get more of like a pluck. Um, this might be a tad bit too tight. Uh, no, that seems okay. Uh, you're not getting too much movement. Um, I have seen people recommend that it's supposed to be loose to a point where if you pluck it, it'll move for about four or five times before it stops. I've noticed with that, at least on the Creality printers, it might be different with other brands, that that is still going to give you layer lines. Um, getting it to the point where it just clicks back like this pretty quickly, but not too tight to the point where you can't actually get your finger in here. Um, that is a good starting point for me. So that's what I start with. And then uh, you can go and print a couple uh, calibration cubes, see if you see any lines in it. If you don't, you're probably good. If you still see any type of small layer lines, um, you can tighten it just a tad bit more, but I wouldn't go too much tighter than this. This feels pretty good. Now let's go and take a look at the Y axis. All right, so here on the y-axis, uh, it's easier to actually get to the belt to uh, test it uh, versus where the x is kind of uh, hidden in the grooves. Um, but you've got four screws, two on each side here. Uh, to uh, tighten it, you'll just loosen those up. So to do that, we're just going to loosen this up a tad bit. 
And then now we should be able to move this around a little bit to get the tension. We're gonna do the same thing on the Y axis as we did for the X axis. We're gonna use the Allen wrench to go ahead and apply pressure on this and then go ahead and tighten it down once the, you feel you're at a good spot. Uh, so that, if you pluck it, it kind of sounds like a guitar there. That sounds pretty good. Um, so I'm going to just tighten this down. All right, and then I'm gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing to make sure that we're keeping the tension even and just tighten that down a little bit more. All right, that should at least hold it in place. Now let's test it again. So that seems pretty good here. We're not putting too much pressure on it. Uh, one thing to look for if you are putting too much pressure on it, you might start to see some separation or some peeling of the actual belt itself. Um, I don't think you're gonna be able to put too much pressure on it, uh, just using the Allen wrench for uh, the actual torque. Um, but if you're using any type of belt tensioners, like I'll show you in a second, you definitely will be able to. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these down all the way. All right, and that covers the belts. I mean, it's not difficult and it is somewhat subjective and each printer might be slightly different as far as the tension needed because let's face it, these belts are not all made the same either, uh, especially if you have to replace them with aftermarket ones. You might have to get slightly different tension on them. So this is really just a good starting point and then you might have to dial it in from there. And which to be honest, without having uh, tensioners, which I'll show you here in a second, dialing it in beyond this or just getting the right pressure, if you're just trying to make a small adjustment is gonna be very difficult. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I did make a video covering how to replace belts if they get worn or broken. I'll link to that below. And I made a video covering how to install the tensioners, which I'll link to below as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at my printer with the tensioner on it. All right, so I'm not gonna spend too much time going over the tensioners here because it's basically gonna be the same as the install video, um, but I did wanna point it out here because we're talking about getting the right tension on the belt. I did loosen this one up here as an example. Uh, it's pretty loose. So in order to tighten this, all you have to do is just turn and then you're, it's gonna be pulling this back and then put an additional tension on the belt. And then you can get to a point where you start hearing like a pluck, kind of like a guitar. See, that's pretty good right there. And I would use that as my starting point uh, for the Y axis, and then go ahead and kick off a test print, see if I'm getting any type of layering, and then maybe tighten it a tad bit from there. Just keep in mind that with these tensioners, you can actually put too much pressure on the belt, much easier than if you had the stock setup, because it's gonna be a screw that you're tightening, so it's gonna keep pulling, and it will start to put pressure on the belt. You can actually get to the point where you have uh, separations on the belt just between the layers here. Uh, obviously, that's way too tight. And then on the x-axis, we have the same thing. Uh, we just got the belt tensioner. It's attached to a screw that's pulling this. Uh, I have this pretty loose right now to use as an example. Uh, you can grab it and kind of move the actual belt around a little bit, so that's way too loose. Uh, if you can't actually get underneath it on the bottom here, depending upon how this is set up, uh, you can just use an Allen wrench or something right here to kind of pop the belt up. Obviously, if you can pop the belt up this much, it's going to be way too loose. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that a little bit. And then you'll just want to get to a point where you're seeing the pressure on it. And if you can start to see separation lines, obviously you're going too far. And then you can try to pluck it and get a guitar sound. So that looks pretty good to me as a starting point. I will say that don't overthink this. If you're getting to a point where you're making just these tiny little corrections, there might be something else going on. But once you have it dialed in, especially with these, you're going to be much better off. And I mentioned earlier in the video that some people say that it should be a lot looser. I'm seeing a couple of videos or articles saying that if you... Uh, hit the belt and it just uh, plucks like a guitar string that it's too tight um, and that might be the case for some printers they weren't very specific on the type of printer or anything like that but I will say that with the Creality printers if you don't get any decent resistance here or if it's not uh, plucking like a guitar string you're gonna see some layer lines so I recommend just get into a point where you think uh, the belts are decently tight and you're getting a little bit of resistance then giving it a try. If you're not seeing any layer lines, then you're good to go. If you are, tighten it just a tad bit more, then go from there. All right guys, so that covers how I tighten the belt on my 3D printers. 
Um, like I said in the beginning, if your belt's too loose, it's going to be obvious. It's when it's more of in that middle area where it might not be so obvious that the issue is the belt. Um, and you might actually have it too tight and you might not notice it. Uh, over time, it could add additional uh, wear to the printer and potentially decrease the life of it. Uh, but it might be fine. So uh, what I recommend doing, kind of like what I, I suggested in the video, is get to a good starting point uh, where you think it's tight enough and then uh, do a couple test prints, see if you have any layers or any lines showing on the print itself. And if you do, uh, tighten it just a little bit more, see if that gets rid of them. In most cases, uh, as long as the lines are minimal, just getting a little tighter uh, will cover uh, pretty much everything you need to do. Now, most likely on uh, your stock setup, you're not gonna be able to over tighten the belts just because it's difficult to actually tighten them to begin with. But if you have belt tensioners like these, uh, you definitely could over tighten them. So just keep that in mind. If you have any questions about the process or uh, think that there's a better way to do this, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.